Hey guys, this is Dirty Dan. Huh. Welcome to the channel. So, I was shooting my buddy's Tika rifle yesterday, sighting it in, and it made me miss shooting my Remington 700. I had fun shooting the Tika rifle, and actually it's good to swap rifles, I think, uh, because you you try something different, some, some platform that you would never try. Like, I would never buy a Tika rifle. I never even looked at them, but I shot my buddies, and I was impressed. I liked it. I enjoyed shooting it. It was good. He had a Vortex scope on it. Again, I probably would not buy a Vortex scope. Um, either a Leopold or a Night Force. But it's good to shoot other people's firearms just to see what differences there are. And basically remove any <laughs> judgmental thoughts you might have of other people buying something different. Because you know what? All the equipment is really top notch. It's impressive what's out there. So... I think it makes us more um, rounded shooters when we shoot other people's platforms. So with that and shooting his rifle, it brought me want to shoot my Remington 700 that I used to go hunting with. So what do we got? Well, this rifle I received from my father. I do not know how old it is. It's probably older than me and I am 50 plus okay so it's an old rifle we'll say that all it has on it are peep sights it has a uh, iron sight on the front it has a Williams peep sight in the rear so I got hooked on peep sights when I uh, first had a 22 long rifle single action Remington bolt and <clears throat> I bought it used I think it was in the day it was probably through the trader it was a paper newspaper that you could buy and sell things through I bought it on the trader and uh, I had peep sights on it and man I got hooked on peep sights so once I inherited this rifle from my father uh, he got a Ruger number one so stay tuned to the channel because guess what's coming <laughs> we're gonna be shooting that Ruger number one because I got that off of him too so anyway way back when uh, my father gave me this Remington 700 to go sh uh, hunting in Wyoming, so I took it out there, and then he got the Ruger number one. So, this was my hunting rifle as a as a teenager, and I've kept it ever since. So, onto the peep sights. So, peep sights are great if you have uh, plenty of daylight. So they're not good for like hunting in the woods. So I would not take this deer rifle with the setup like it is with the peep sights hunting in the woods. It's good for open range and plenty of light and you need a good contrast in the background. That's why I'd say it's not good for the woods. Now, today what I have set up is I have a 24 inch gong. It's at 160 yards and it has a 2 inch cutout for the center bullseye. So the peep sights, I... <clears throat> fired it and I believe I was on the steel so we're going to confirm that I have my other camera set up down range so we're just gonna have some fun shooting a plain Jane call it iron sights peep sights Remington 700 so like I did the Tika rifle oh if you didn't see that review go watch it it's just a sight in of my buddy's Tika rifle uh, sight in and then shooting it at uh, 160 yards and then 270 yards and then in that uh, video, I talked about my different rounds of ammunition. So anyway, this is <clears throat> my uh, 175 grain. This is a 308 rifle. Uh, so 175 grain, uh, hollow point boat tail. So you wouldn't go hunting with this cartridge, but it's fun. I just wanted to get out and target shoot this guy. Uh, so no recoil pad on this hunting rifle. It's, it's a hunting rifle. It's a nice looking rifle. So I would not want to bench rest shoot this day shoot this guy all day long but anyway I am gonna load it uh, single shot load one shot at a time so here we go we'll see if we can basically my goal is just to make placement on the gong that is positioned at 160 yards I just love this rifle it's a classic rifle and it just shoots it's not the most accurate, but it's made for hunting. <clears throat> it's just made for, you know, hitting the animal. It's not made to, I don't even think it's necessarily a one inch MOA rifle. 
So we'll see what the group looks like. We're going to fire five shots. And we'll see what we can do with it. I think that was on steel. The trigger actually, <laughs> trigger went off a little bit sooner than I was expecting. It's kind of hard with the gloves to feel the trigger. But I can't really hear the report of the steel with my earplugs in. But I think I got on the steel. that report so with this guy I am making sure the uh, the butt of the stock is well planted into my shoulder <clears throat> so I can basically absorb the recoil into the meat I like it right under the meat of my shoulder. There's three. Make us to go see what the group looks like. I'm pretty sure I heard a report on that one. I love bolts. I love bolt action rifles. I just get the job done without fail. Hmm. Something shifted. My sandbags aren't serving me so well today. More to go. I don't think I heard the report that time. In case you couldn't tell, I still got the leather sling on the rifle from carrying it in the field. Uh, let's put this guy on safe. I think what's giving me trouble today is I got that sling wrapped around the bags and it's pulling my bags. It's pulling my bags out of position. All right, back on fire. Oh guys, that's it man. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have missed shooting bolt action rifles. Well, I'm gonna have to go chase down that piece of brass. So please, if you like watching bolt action rifles, subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be more to come with this stuff. I've kind of gotten the bug for 
shooting them again. I haven't done it for a really long time, but now that I got my rifle range all set up and ready to go, I got more opportunity to shoot rifles. So guess what, guys? I love this country, United States of America.